Welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Wilting Y playthrough. So last episode we arrived at Geosenge Town, had a run in with Team Flare who then just disappeared into thin air. Then we made our way to the next town Shallow City which we had to go through Reflection Cave beforehand and we actually got swept by a random trainer who was running belly drum extreme speed Linu, which completely just caught me off guard. To be fair there was a few sort of ace trainers in there <coughs> who all have sort of competitive kind of movesets but now we're in Shallow City we can actually start to prepare for the next gym but obviously we'll explore first so you sell oh okay poison jab is gonna be quite useful and dig I'm gonna buy these TMs just for the sake of it probably not really gonna get used though What else can we find in the Pokemon Center? I've been playing this totally sweet game recently. You play some cool little dude who runs around and whacks enemies to the beat of the music. They're very rare, but here in the Kalos region you can find mysterious stones that are filled with life energy. Shining stone that emitted great warmth was discovered, and then the great tower was built to house and protect the stone. Interesting. Hey. Oh, it's Mr. Bonding. What you got for us? critical power okay then so we'll head on out and explore the actual city so starting off with this house an old woman oh oh my you can boss can seem like you that's a nice see makes me want to give you this super thank you Pokemon holds a suit, but it will become more friendly to you. Even if Pokemon are the same species, each Pokemon has a different nature and so on. Okay. There's always the Holocaster when you want to check the latest news. Being good or bad at Pokemon battles is just one of many measures of people. I want to show off my awesomeness in eating contests. Whatever your aspirations are, just just follow him, kid. If do you want to eat loads of food for a living, who's to tell you not to? If you're a trainer, will you show me how you're raising your Pokemon with loving care? Oh, this Combustion was level five when you hit, but now it's level thirty-five. You've raised it quite well. I feel your love for this Pokemon. You want to raise your Pokemon as a token of gratitude for showing me your great love for your Pokemon. A footprint ribbon. Another pretty much redundant thing. As you imitate someone, you'll create your own style. If you want to be strong, it might be a good idea to imitate a strong trainer. Or just be yourself. Hi. Do you have any flying or psychic type Pokemon with you? Oh, a Togetic type is with you. Do you help me get some luggage that's too high for me to reach? Thank you, I'll give you this. Stardust, okay. Having Pokemon with you can be a big help sometimes there. Eh? Yeah, I reckon having a psychic you wanna be pretty ace. Get it to play pranks on people. Traditionally Pokemon battles were a ritual that people and Pokemon used to learn about and accept one another. Okay, what's up here? Ooh. Hey P Meister, how's your journey going? Hello Pokex. Let's compare our coastal catalyst Pokedexes. See if we've seen more kinds of Pokemon. Let's put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 45 kinds. I lost, how frustrating. Oh, so you've seen Kangaskhan too, P Meister. Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can sure make you happy. Get this, I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh yeah, I just remembered. The professor told us to say hello to the Mega Revolution Guru when we reach Shallow City. That's right, you did say that. Um, who were we supposed to say hello to again? A person called the Mega Revolution Guru. Oh, that's right, he did say that. Well, I guess we should look for the Mega Revolution Guru then. Where do you think he is anyway? I heard he's in that imposing building deep in the city, the Tower of Mastery. Like, we didn't already know that. There's sure are a lot of different items to make Pokemon's power bloom into full. Hmm, a team like you and Combustion can 
accomplish anything. I think in this town anyway. I haven't really been anywhere else. So what we got in here? Let's trade one of your citrus berries for one of my leopard berries. Um, I don't really know if that's actually that good. Friendship is power. With that in mind, the best way to bring out Pokemon's hidden power is to become friends with it. Don't you agree? Yeah, I suppose. So, we've been to everything up here. What about up here? When you act like Pokemon is the to battle, then winning or losing becomes the only thing that matters. That can make everything a lot less fun. Oh, I don't think we've been here. We'll, we'll go there in a sec, let's go in here. An old man. I want to see every single move that can be used by Pokemon. All the time and love and soul you pour into your Pokemon. It's not for nothing you'll see. Eternal life, huh? It probably seems nice at first glance, but I'd definitely get bored with that. <coughs> yeah, to be fair, the whole being immortal thing is probably not all it's cracked up to be. Like, you'd get attached to people and then just watch them die repeatedly. So I know this haiku really likes Ferris wheels. It looks like you finally found love. Okay, a bit creepy. There exists an item that can change your Pokemon's ability. Well, that's what I heard, but where do I actually find one? I've got a few if you want one. Yeah, what's that you have there? That's Kalos Pokedex, isn't it? Let me have a look for a moment. There is no mean feat there, child. Take this in honor of your effort. Eviolite. An Eviolite is quite a handy item. Would you believe what it does? It raises the defense and special defense for a Pokemon holding it. But I'm afraid there's one catch. It only works for Pokemon that can evolve, but haven't finished evolving. Mysterious, isn't it? I was invited out the other day by a friend who recently joined up with Team Flare. He just kept going on about how only Team Flare had a future to look forward to. Yeah, he's brainwashed, radicalised, whatever you want to call it. Right, so that just leads out. So we'll head down here. Oh, here's Tierna. He might to check this out. A new dance. Isn't this stone cool? I got it from this person called the Wandering Stone Collector for showing off my dance moves. Might be a mega stone. Here, P Master, you can have it. I want you to have it because you're such a great trainer and all. I still remember our battle on Route 5. An intriguing stone. That's the Tower of Mastery. So cool. Well, I'll go call Trevor's then. Go on ahead, okay. Right. Who's this dude? I want to be more awesome than I am now. I know trends and Pokemon both feel that way. So all that's left to do is go in here. Grab this item first, which is Max Ether. Not too bad. What about the other side? No, nothing. And there's nothing there. It's a pretty cool tower in it. Look at the size of that Mega Lucario. So I can't remember where you go now. Do you go up the stairs? Oh no, she's not allowed to. Um, so it must be in here then. Oh, you must be Pokex then. Sick and what time you wouldn't be coming. I'm called the Mega Revolution Guru. I guess you could say I'm an acquaintance of his. Uh, but Mega Revolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, come here for a moment, will you? Hmm, only one of you. I thought he gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? Here they all come. Oh. Who's that you're talking to, P. Meister? People call me the Mega Revolution Guru. Uh, my name's Tina. And that's Pokex over here. Yeah, we already know that name. My name is Trevor. Pleased to meet you, Sycamore's pupils. But there are still only three of you, huh? What's this now? Were you the one who found that intriguing stone? No, it was given to me. I'm not a liar. 
What? Uh, it was you who found it right, Peter Morrister. Well, who found it doesn't really matter. What's important is that you were honest. If you tell lies, the truth is cloud and eventually lost. And while we're being honest, that intriguing stone is just an ordinary rock. Hmm. Sure, a lot of hubbub out there. Does that mean everyone has arrived? Hey there, so you made it to Shellow City. The car is in its Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should go see what's going on too. Here they all are. Hmm, looks like everyone's finally here. P Meister. I hate that nickname. I absolutely hate it. Where have you been? It feels like it's been some time since our whole group has gathered in one place. Yeah, I think it's been since we met up on Route 7. Mr. Mega Evolution Guru. I've been wondering this whole time, who is that over there? This is my granddaughter Karina, she's Shadow City's gym leader. So, Sycamore's pupils, now that you're all here, I suppose I should explain Mega Evolution to you. I assume you all know about Pokemon Evolution. I know, I know. Um, you have your Pokemon battle a lot, then they grow stronger and evolve. Oh, and there are Pokemon that evolve with certain items. Some Pokemon evolve through friendship and others only evolve in certain places. Exactly. And it's likely that Pokemon evolve in a lot of other ways as well, but Mega Evolution is an evolution that transcends all other evolution. Indeed. Mega Evolution is a transformation of Pokemon that were thought to be unable to evolve any further. It's a whole new level of power. So, in an evolutionary line like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, does that mean Charizard would be able to evolve even further? Yep, exactly right. But not all Pokemon have a Mega Evolution. There's a reason why I used the word transformation a moment ago. Mega Evolution differs from Evolution because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's temporary evolution. What? It evolves but then it goes back to what it was before. Yes, Mega Evolution is a special kind of evolution. That said, we still know very little about it. What we know now is that it requires special items, and the most important element is that the trust between Pokemon and Trainer. Trust. In other words, the bond between po Trainer and Pokemon. To make Mega Evolution work you need two items, a Mega Stone for the Pokemon and the Mega Ring which has a mysterious stone set in it for the trainer. Since Professor Sycamore trusted each one of you with a Pokedex, I would like to give these items all to, to all of you. I'd like to share them with you but... but... But what? Just come out and say it already. So, but presently I only have one Mega Ring. It's a very precious item, that's why my research isn't getting anywhere. So I want all of you to decide among yourselves which one of you will be the one who challenges this Mega Revolution successor. I'll pass. Pokemon Battle isn't really my scene. So Mega Revolution would be way out of my league. Me too. Really would be a cool memory and it does look interesting but I want to complete Pokedex first. If she tries to do too much at once she won't accomplish anything. So that leaves P-Meister and Serena there. Trainers don't get much better than you two. Pokéx, okay, so let's battle for it. Whatever the reason, the battle gives us an opportunity to compete and see who Vaneville's town's best trainer really is. Ah, oh, so we're throwing hands. I'm gonna save in case I have to reset. I don't want to go through all that talking again. Right then, let's do this. Are you ready? Born ready. I will master Mega Evolution and set myself apart from other trainers. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come so far together and they never stop believing in me. They're a trainer. You and your Pokemon are stronger. I can tell just by looking at you. But I will not lose. No. I'm going to win. Okay then. Let's see how this goes. She's now got a full team move. Oh no, she's got five. And she leads with a Meow Stick. Okay, so... You're definitely going for a psychic move. So we can switch into Luxray. I mean, the one benefit after this will be Combuscan should evolve into Blaziken. Right, let's go for a bite. Shadow Ball's resistance, so it shouldn't be too much. Yeah, we eat that for breakfast. You do get a special defense drop there. But you get one shot from Bite. So, good start. Up next is Kangaskhan. Um, not gonna lie, this thing's scary. Um, we'll go Venusaur. I 
think we'll put it to sleep, hopefully, and then just try and do some damage to it. Then Combust can come in and finish it off if need be. Of course, you got Fake Out, which does so much damage and crits. Fire Punch is going to hurt. Oh, coming in clutch there, Venusaur. Right, we'll go for a Petal Dance. I don't think it's going to do too much. Kangaskhan's really bulky. Actually, that did way more than I expected. And then, of course, you wake up next to. So now we can go out into Combuskin. Go for a double kick. Why would you go for Fire Punch, which we resist? And you got Berry. So that first double kick did absolutely nothing. It's a good job the second one finishes it. What you got next? Um, Dragonair, right, Greninja. It's on you. Ice Punch. So she's going to have a Dragonite as well. Ice punch, hopefully KOs. No. Go for Dragon Tail. What comes in in replacement? Combuskin. Okay, double kick, hopefully finishes it off. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it does actually. So close, level 36. Um, Vaporeon looks where right, should be able to handle. I don't think it KOs though with Thunderfang. Only one way to find out. Oh my god, it does as well. That's that strong draw ability coming in clutch. And there's Combuskin to 36. Right, Chestnut. Mm. No, actually, we're going to go Togety. We'll go for some extra sensories. This is a little bit alarming. We haven't learned a single fly move though on Togety. That's why I went for a special attack at. We'll actually go for disarming boys. Wow, that does so little damage. Let's go for a yawn. Avoid the leech seed. Thunder punch, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. You definitely heal. Oh, you don't actually. Okay, Disarmed Boys finishes it off. She's got a pretty good team to be fair. She's still got one more team member to add as well. So, I lost them. Better luck next time. And here we go, Blaziken. This thing's going to be so good when it mega evolves. Wants to learn Blaze Kick. Is that much better than? Fire punch. Yeah, it's 10 base power more. It does have a little bit of a drop in accuracy though. It was so strong, I could feel how powerful the bomber between you and your partners is. 
Losing is frustrating, but you'll definitely be able to mega revolve your Pokemon, I'm sure of it. There may be winners and losers in a Pokemon battle, but I've really thought you two and your Pokemon are all winners. Mega Revolution is nothing more than just one way to make Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength of their Pokemon without Mega Revolution. Well then, Pokéx, first you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Hmm, do you have a Venusaur with you then? I'm excited to see what the two of you will accomplish with the power of Mega Revolution. Pokemon need a Mega Stone, and Pokemon trainers need the Mega Ring. Well, my mistake. My mysterious trainer, my Lucario, may have taken a shine to you, but now I must test you to see if you're ready to challenge the Mega Revolution successor. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. Oh, the rest of your friends should come challenge me at the gym too. Right, I, I am so ready for this. I bet the professor will be happy if you master the Mega Revolution. That's one way you can show mastery as a trainer. Well, that's what the professor wanted us to do after all. He said we should aim to be the best trainers we can be and enjoy our journey. Tiana, she will work to be the best trainers we can be too. Alright then, let's aim for the top. Hope to see you again soon, P-Meister. See you, Shawnee. You don't really need to go to all the trouble of comparing. Every living creature is unique. But still, having someone to compete against and aim for great heights with is a very fine thing. P-Meister, I think that you and Serena are going to compete against each other and get really strong. I'm so glad we're all travelling together. Okay then, so... Let's head on to the gym. First we need to go to the Pokemon Center. So we can... Adjust our team. Obviously it's going to be a fighting gym. We'll clear away to the gym leader. And then I'll like fully prepare and come back so to be honest you're pretty redundant for us Fletching the might get added to the team um, who did I say we was actually going to use right none of them are actually ready so we're going to have to get everyone up to level cap as well I suppose I'll add you just for now while we go and check if there's a clear route. Are we fully healed? No, we're not. So let's heal on up, go to the gym, and look at how we can get to the gym leader. I can't actually remember this gym. Like, I remember the battle, I just don't remember like the inside of the gym or how you actually get to Karina. All that I keep thinking of in my head is like Gen 4 with the moving punch bags. Oh, it's one of them where you have to battle all the trainers. Because you have to open up the rollerblade thing. Just who do you think you are stopping me while I'm skating? Okay, roller skater Kate with a meditite. Well, that's not good for blazing him. Although, I could just bulk up and then blaze kick everything. Psycho Cut's gonna do a bit of damage there. Right, and now hopefully we just one shot. What else have you got to come in? Me and Fu, which is clearly going to go for a fake out. Yeah, saw that coming from a mile away. And then another blaze kick should take this out. And then the last Pokemon is Conkledur. Okay, I reckon this lives because this is really bulky. 
Yeah, it lives comfortably. And it goes for a bulk up of its own. And it's got leftovers. Yeah. Well, as long as we connect, we should take it out. So, not too bad. Venus Souls up to level 34. So I think we've got to do two more trainers. This skate and battle train doesn't stop for anyone. Non-stop and full speed ahead. Go, go, go. Right, Rolanda. A saw. To be honest, I'm, I'm just going to try and brute force my way through, I think. Salakberry, Zen head was gonna hurt. Back to just straight with one shots. Wow. Do we reckon a peck after level 28 fletching the KO's level 34 sword? Anyone might find out. In fact, it does. That takes us up to level 29. Right up next is Hitmonchan. It's gonna definitely have Thunder Punch. Let's go for a disarming voice. In fact, it's got Ice Punch. Youch, that did a lot. How did that do so little? Must, oh, it must be an assault vest. Um, okay, we'll go Venusaur. Just spam. Ah, oh, supposed to click Petal Dance. Uh, the trainers here are actually quite tough. If I had the correct team, it probably wouldn't be that bad. But I thought we'd just be able to brute force with the actual trainers. Right, I'm hoping a peck finishes you up. Let's that shoes out. What's next to come? Hitman Lee. And then Harry Armor. Okay. Peck's not really going to do much here because this is bulky. That fake out does a ton. Oh my god, and you flame warped. Force bomb's going to hurt. It was. We took it quite well though. Let's go for another pet to do a bit more chip damage. Not even down to half. What would you get for bullet punch? It's not even stab. Right, let's go Greninja. Water pulse. That makes us lose the dark type as well. Yeah, that didn't do as much damage as I thought. And that would have definitely one shot us. Please don't heal. Right, so I'm definitely going to have to run back to the Pokemon Center to heal. Because we literally got two Pokemon left. You stopped me right in my tracks, that's no fun. That opens up the. S I mean, in fact, actually, I think there's two more trainers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do them off screen and then when we come back it will be for the gym battle with the team ready. So be right back. Okay, so we're ready. Let's do this. Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing around with you. I know you're rolling in the aisles, right? I already know you're a strong trainer, so let's get this show on the road. 
So, let's hope this all goes to plan. Right, so you lead off with Brilu. We're going to lead off with Venusaur. Because you can't spore us, I don't think. And we can just go for a Venoshock. We're also holding a Poison Barb, which slightly boosts the damage. Obviously, you got Focus Sash. Rock Tomb, I don't really mind, it's not really going to do anything to us. Well, actually, that did do decent damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot your Technician. And now your Hyper Potion is redundant because the Focus Sash is gone. We get a crit as well just to be on the safe side. Right then, so that will bring out Gallade, which we have Azumarill for. Don't actually have any fairy moves though, so it's just a case of taking damage and giving it back. So you know what, we'll go for a bounce. Yeah, yeah, we, we eat that. That just straight up KOs. Right, Terrakion, we have Nidoking 4. I didn't check though what ability it's got. Hoping it hasn't got sheer force because although it does extra damage, I kind of want to get the full dose to work. Sacred Sword will resist. Eat that comfortably. So, yeah, we, we should outspeed now as well. Halucha, we have Azumarill 4. Because again, I think we should be able to tank any hits you've got. Oh, Halucha's level 38. I thought the level cap was 37. But I'll go for another bounce. Acrobatics is going to hit quite hard. But we, we take it. these KOs. Oh, it lives on a sliver. We did get the paralysis so, so we'll go for Aqua Jet just to finish it off. High potion I don't mind. As long as we connect with the next bounce we should be good. Oh you still outspeed. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Azumarill goes down but it's not the end of the world. We can bring, bring in Charizard. Go for Air Slash. That finishes it off. And then Pangoro, we've got Blaziken to deal with. I've also gave it the Black Belt, so his double kick should be doing a bit more damage as well. Still doesn't do quite enough. You go for a power up punch. Oh my god, how much damage did that do? Thankfully it doesn't go for a sucker punch, it must not be in KO range. So yeah, we got rid of the Pangoro as well. And then Lucario, that's what Charizard has brought for. To be honest, Talonflame was just brought as an extra in case I needed, in case something went like pear shapes and I needed like priority damage. And then we just go for a Flame Burst. And here's the Mega. So she had a Legendary, Interachion, and a Mega Lucario. 
Now this is where battles start to become a lot harder, but we just one shot the flame burst anyway. How could it be? Oh, I've been defeated. Alakale. Lady Karina gave a terrible display. This is it. I must give up my title and admit that your strength far exceeds. Just teasing, but here's your badge. Boy, you'll be rolling in them soon. So I'm not going to lie. I, I've seen a video of someone who nuzlocks this. And a lot of the strategy that I used there was from that nuzlocke. Otherwise, if I'd have gone into that blind, I think it would have took a good few attempts. If you've got a rumble badge, then you can trade Pokemon to level 50 with your friends and they'll be ready to roll. They'll love you, alright. And you'll be able to roll over waves using the HM Surf, even outside battle. And here, why don't you take this TM? I've been, I've really been on a roll with it myself. Power Up Punch. Power Up Punch does just what it says on the box. The more that you use it, the tougher your fist gets. Keep using it, your attack will go through the roof. Look, I do have to apologise. You'll have to make it up to the top of the tower of mastery if you want the mega ring. I'm sorry for sending you this way and that. I swear, I'm not giving you the run around. You've done great rolling with the punches. So great that I'd like to ask you a favour. Battle me again, won't you? But this time, it won't be just another gym battle. I want a battle between equals. There's two trainers who can use mega evolution. I'll be waiting for you with Lucario at the top of the tower of mastery. Okay, so that's where we've got to head next, but we're going to end the episode there, so next episode we will head to the Tower of Mastery, beat Karina again with her own Pokemon, spoiler alert, and then we get the Mega Ring and start, can start Mega Evolving ourselves, so at the moment we've got we can get a Mega Venusaur and a Mega Blaziken, so two pretty good Megas. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time.